Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion. Alright. So actually we're gonna have to go out for a Good now. day. Finally arriving in Bruma, thankfully. That only took a while. Uh not really. Yeah. So sorry. Anora and Joranda were once a happy couple, but that's over now. I hear that he took all of their money and stashed it after he committed a robbery. He was going to skip town on Honora, but got arrested before making good on his escape. Now she has no money left at all, poor thing. Oof. Farewell. Oof. That just does not sound good. Kind of food. Uh, Alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if we can go on. I can bring a lot with me, so I'm not. Ah, oh, there you are. You must Hello, be Associate. Pet. If you need anything, just let me know. I need a recommendation. A recommendation from me? Well, well of yeah. course. Raminus would naturally want my opinion, wouldn't he? Um, I don't think this it's is like a situation that. we can both benefit from, Associate. I'm really you sure do me a small like favor, that. and I'll happily send along a glowing recommendation. Sure. If you I can find your scar, I'll though. write the recommendation immediately. Okay. Who's your scar? He's disappeared. I mean, he's really disappeared. No one here has seen him in days. Volinaro thinks maybe a spell backfired. Oh, dang. If someone from the council were to stop by and find him gone, it'd look bad for me. I can't have that. What's, what's that? Talk to the mages Seriously? here and see what you can find out. <laughs> you if you can make Jaskar reappear, himself? you'll have your recommendation. Uh -huh. okay. Please come find me as soon as you've located Jaskar. Right. Oh, and, uh, what's it? Oh, jeez, what happened to all the books? I'm pretty sure my FPS didn't jump above 60, but it may have. It may have for a second, and that just flung the books everywhere. So it does do that. Oh, I wonder if I can get something. Better lighting. Oh. Huh? No, I don't want to close that door. It's totally went through everything. This picture is very strange. Well, though. No. Uh huh, a door that I didn't unlock. Alright, but where is... Ah, Bolano. I hope I can help. Right. Me too. What about Jaskar? You want to find Jaskar? Okay. Alright, I think I can help with that. But you have to agree to do something for me first. Okay. And whatever you do, you can't tell Jean about it. Alright? Yeah, no problem. She seems interested only in herself. That's the spirit! You help me pull off a little prank, and I'll help you find Jaskar. Alright. Oh, what can you tell me about Jean? With all due respect to our wonderful leader, she couldn't cast her way out of a paper sack. It's insulting that we're here, working for her, when she knows nothing. Ooh. She's managed to butter up the right people just enough to keep her position. And there's little we can do about it. Oh, jeez. But we have our ways of coping with the situation. Oh, that's good then. Maybe. As long as you're not blowing yourselves up to have a laugh. <laughs> right, really? Pray. You're going to love this. I'll teach you a spell to unlock things. What you need to do is get into oh, Jean's cool. desk and bring me her manual of spellcraft. Okay? 
Her room is upstairs. Make sure no one sees you. You do that for me, and I'll make sure you can find Jaskar. Okay. <laughs> Bring me Jean's manual of spell. Okay. Okay. Let me know when you're done with that little task. Who put that there? I suppose I have a moment. What is it? Nothing. No, I'm learning I don't really like you. I really like it. Is this oh. So she couldn't even cast a spell like that, I bet. No. Yes, that's right. Leaving the bed. Over here. Oh. Yeah, alright. Alright, so let's get this all over there. Alright. Fine greetings to you. Oh, hey. A pleasure to speak with you. What about you? Have you seen Jaskara? Look, I like you and all, but I really don't want to get in the middle of this. Ooh. If Volanara oh, and Jaskar things. want to have their fun, fine. I'm not going to participate, and I'm not saying another word about it. Take it up with them. <clears throat> I see. This is something they do pretty frequently. Farewell. Fair enough. This seems relatively harmless. I'm hoping it needs to be harmless. Please say you didn't blow Jaskar up for fun. Just Have you pulled that little prank yet? Um, prank. You've got Jean's book, yeah. I see. All right then, I'll just take that from you. Meet me here in the living quarters just after 10 p.m. Oh, what the hell? Fine. So I've got like 12 hours and then some. Alright, well we're gonna find something else to do for 12 hours, cause I'm not just gonna stand around and wait. Screw that. Oh, that's neat. What is it? Oh, you know what? I did believe I read that note before. About uh, a vampire being in Bruma. Let's check that out. Hello. Oh, hello. Go ahead, please. Well, why aren't you nice? All right. Good day. Mm -hmm. Where, where, where?
Oh, hey, it's you. What can I you. do for you? Hmm, do you sell things? Alright, you don't. I'm through things. talking to you. Okay. I mean, I really. There must just be like a, a plaque somewhere. Sure, four cars. Four cars. to leave. Oh. This is a crime scene, and no one other than ourselves, our Reynold Dreyless, will be allowed access. Oh. <laughs> Let's butter you up. Certainly. That's really funny. That kind of... That's... I like you too. Right. The bar... Blah. You can... I like mm. you too. That works for me. Points. I guess that works. I suppose there's no harm in telling you what happened. Word is bound to get around Broom Speaking anyway. Turns out that Braden Lyrian is a vampire. You're a little light or to was. Apologize, sir. If it wasn't for Rainiel Dralis, we may never have uncovered the truth. Let me explain. In the last week or so, we've found two bodies stashed in shallow graves outside the city walls. The bodies had puncture wounds on their necks. The bodies were those of some beggars who used to wander the streets looking for handouts. Vampire probably thought no one would miss them. Blood? Luckily for us, Raynal arrived in town. He said he was a vampire hunter, so we asked for his help. He tracked the vampire to this house. When he mm, entered the place kill. around noon, Raynal was sleeping. Kill. He was able to slay him at that point. And they usually live in caves? They're Luckily, Braden's wife wasn't home. Poor thing. So she didn't even know her well, husband he was infected. We did a follow-up investigation, and it's true that no one recollects seeing Braden out in the daylight. He's only been spotted at night. Well, I mean, I'm afraid there's not much more to tell you. Trait. So... You can see we really don't need any help, but thanks for the offer. I didn't offer. Tell me about Braden. As far as I know, he was a good man. I, I never saw this coming. But vampires are masters of deception, so I guess it makes sense. I guess I might. Yeah. Is this I'm impressed. Car? It only took him a day to track the vampire down. I guess that's why he does it for a living. Really? He does, eh? Feel uh, free to question anyone in town. They shouldn't give you too much trouble. Perhaps you can help me. Well, it's like it is a bit. Hold on, man. Hold on. Please Who's leave me be. Big? Like something in shape. Quite honestly, his eyes are not the right color. His face still looks way too human. Do you guys even know what a vampire is? Where the where the beggar body is even? It's good to get up and move about a bit. Blood? Seriously? Oh. I can't believe this is happening. Please, please, I need your help. My husband was no vampire. It's ridiculous. You. No one will listen to me. I will. It's okay. Just calm down. I'm Forgive me. I loved my husband dearly. And to lose him this way makes no sense. Anything you can do to help would be wonderful. This is all happening so fast. I can try to prove it, but, uh... I, know, tell me what I came home only just a few hours ago. I found the door open, this and my brain dead. Fresh, Standing over him was a Dunmer. 
I screamed and ran out into the street. Some city watch were nearby and heard me, I suppose, as they arrived quickly. I heard the Dunmer identify himself as Rainil Draylus. He said he was a vampire hunter and that Braden was his mark. The guards mm. seemed to know about Rainil, and after a search of the house, the body of some beggar was found stashed in our basement. The guards sent for right. Carius, who is an investigator for crimes here in Bruma. In minutes, <laughs> Rainil convinced <clears throat> Carius that Braden was a vampire. Hmm. That does look really bad for Brayden. Well, of course it does. It was obviously planted here. Why would he stash a body in his own house? That's ridiculous. Truche. And another thing. Truché. The guards are making a big deal out of no one seeing Brayden out in the daylight. Well, of course that's the case. He works at night and has to sleep during the day. Why does that make him a vampire? It's all that Rainer right, character. I don't there. trust him. The thing that bothers me the most is that I swear I've seen him before. Of course, he says he's never been here. Hmm. Look, there isn't much more to say. Please, help me clear my husband's name. I'll do what I can. I have no idea where he'd be. Just find him and make him tell you the truth. I swear he's a liar. I know I sound desperate, but I know I'm right. Oh, you're back. Excuse me. Right, let's check out the basement then. Why would he leave a dead body in here? That doesn't make any sense. No, no blood drain, nothing. The vampire doesn't kill its victim before it drinks their blood. Seriously. Yeah, it. Oh, 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 sorry, I got something. Ah, pool of blood, I guess. Have pity on an old war veteran. Oh, Me children will thank you for your help. Oh. Yeah, what's up, thank you, kind sir. Why are you? Who is bringing Yes, this? the vampire hunter. As far as I know, he just showed up recently here in Bruma. Not only that, but he already found a vampire among us. Apparently... Braden Lyrian was one of those vile creatures, and Rainil slew him. Kind of strange, though. I never figured Braden to be a vampire. Hmm. He seemed to be such an likable fellow. Ooh, so he wasn't reclusive. He actually spoke to you guys. Blessings of Akatosh upon ye. Hmm. I think it's more suspicious. Go ahead. I, mean, I think it's here. Today's your lucky day, so let's hear it. I hope I can help. Okay. You yeah, might have you join me. Be seeing you. What can Hello. I do for you today? Well... What do you know about Brayden Lyrian? Actually, well, let's this better be good. You really don't like me. Right. 
I won't fight you. You should please. That never happened. I. That's enough. Uh, no, you do me too much honor. Goodness. So, you. Not funny. Not even a little bit. You got. Get a. What a. Yeah, right. I can't. Uh, what a. So you say. There we go. Okay. Not f really not. So you you got a point. A little better. I know I may right. be out of Tell line by Brady. saying this, but I think the city guards may be wrong. It's hard to imagine Braden was a vampire. I could have sworn I saw him outside in the daylight before. Unless he just got that disease very recently, I'd say they were mistaken. I'd have to agree. When with I you heard Rainil killed him, I didn't know what to think. But after your visit here, I'm beginning to wonder. If he would have had to be infected, like, within the last day, then, because he was, he didn't even look fully turned. And I've seen a lot of vampires. I've killed a lot of vampires. Tell me about I usually dude. don't give out that kind of information, especially to people oh, I don't my. know. Draw my sword again. Like, Yo, tell me what you know. Hmm. No, I'm not Good journey to you. I mean, I guess I could. Hi there. What have you been up to? What can I do for you? To I'm sure you don't like it. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> you. Uh, no, you. So you say. I'm with you completely. I could. Good journey to you. No. I'm what can I do away. for you today? Let's have a chat. Shall we? Raynil's staying in the there last room down the hall upstairs. Here's the key. Sword, so I'm a little unhappy about I always liked Brayden and Arlene. They were a nice couple. I hope you get to the bottom of this, because I don't believe he was a vampire either. Good, good. That's at least two people. That's enough for a reasonable doubt. Hello. Gelaborn's journal. Discovered a small journal in Rainel's room at the inn. It seems he was part of a group of adventurers who uncovered an artifact of some sort. From some alien ruins. They all agreed to search the artifact in a cave until more research can be done about it. Each of them took a key to the chest of a secured end. The two other members of the group were Brayden and someone named Gilborn. Need to find out more about Gilborn to confirm my suspicions about Raynal. Hola, may be able to help. Oh dear. Eight days passed and there's still and still there's no sign of the artifact. And most of the remainder of the outer guard tower has covered the crumbled gatehouse ruins. That one clue has arisen as to where it may have been buried. It's quiet out here, as if the ruins were paying respects to the alien inhabitants that disappeared here long ago. We haven't encountered anything hostile, but if we do, I think we're ready. The Brotherhood's been in worse scrapes before. Brayden paid good money for the information as to our treasure's whereabouts, and I hope it doesn't turn out to be yet another fiasco. Morning, our camp was set upon by bandits who were protecting what they claimed was their territory. Considering that we were outnumbered three to one, we did very well. Only Raynell suffered a small wound. Okay. But that was easily healed by a potion that Brayden had thoughtfully brought with him on our expedition. 
He said, if Brayden was an adventurer, he likely knew how to cure vampirism, or at least the stages of it. He was smart enough to bring a potion along on an adventure, so... After getting rid of the bandits' corpses, we set out to tackle the largest part of the ruin, the remains of the Great Keep, to the walls of the once mighty structure were collapsed. Scattering the telltale whitish rock so typical of the alien architecture in this part of Tamriel has made our assault on the ruin difficult. Many of the larger chunks of wall were far too heavy for us to move. Brayden suggested that we search the center of the building's foundation for any underground entrances, which was typical for this type of keep. His guess paid off, and after several hours of back-breaking work, we managed to clear an opening just large enough for us to squeeze through and enter an ancient stairwell leading down into the ground. We decided to wait until morning's light to begin our descent into the depths of the ruin. After a restless sleep, all of us were quite excited at the prospect of what might lie ahead. Eagerly, we dipped our torches in a fresh container of pitch, lit them, and entered the inky blackness of the stairwell. But Stalo was choked with dust and fine grit, a sign that no one had entered this portion of the ruins in a very long time. Ooh, that means really good treasure then. We became excited. Is that meant no other tomb robbers? Yeah. The stairwell eventually leveled out into a corridor of sorts. With that, snake its way to the north. As we carefully walked along, I scanned the floor wall very carefully for any type of triggers, fires, or fish plates. Such was my specialty. The aviators were well known for their coming traps, protecting their tombs. I wasn't taking any chances. I'm pretty sure that they aren't tombs. Though they're their cities. What remains of their cities? Brayden, the scholar of the Brotherhood, was getting more and more excited as he traversed the passage. He was translating the wall carving and bleh, and was becoming certain that we had finally found the true location of our prize. After walking for several more minutes, we were overjoyed to see what we were hoping to see. The hallway ended at a metal door with the carving of a spider upon it. Now came the true test of Brayden's information. The door supposedly had a puzzle lock. The pulling the spider waves in a certain combination, it would unlatch. Oh, that sounds cool. I have to take a minute here and wish so hard that the professor would have done an actual puzzle lock like that in the game. Or animated a door like like that, and you know, it would have been so cool. Any, anyways, the wrong combination would spell our deaths, perhaps triggering a collapse in the hallway or some other equally deadly trap, right? Like a crystal that turns red and explodes you with ice. With a shaky hand, I pulled the legs one by one in the order I had memorized the sixth, the first, the second, the eighth, and finally the first again. I closed my eyes, as there were a few loud clicks, and then the door popped open. We all breathed a sigh of relief. Pushing open the door, I looked in at a huge room with a pedestal at the center. Sitting on the pedestal, illuminated by a shaft of sunlight from a tiny hole in the ceiling, was our prize. The floor was covered in a huge mosaic of a stylized spider. That's curious. I don't know if I've ever seen any day or er, any aliens who worship some kind of spider creature. Or Daedra maybe. Ah. Curious though. Very curious. Only a bit light coming to a point and then ended up at the door entrance. This was the last trap the alien left. Behind to protect their treasure. Again, if I hadn't done for Brayden still had acquiring information, we may never have known. I um, solve this last line of defense. Constricted Brighton and right now to remain at the entrance, and to tie a rope around my waist in case of a sudden pitfall. Oh, clever. Carefully, I begin to walk on the darkened tiles that form the third leg of the spider. Sweat beaded on my forehead, as the pathway made by the tiny pieces of ceramic was very narrow at the start. I want to slip, but again, meaningless to death. 
the death never arrived. The information had been correct. How, how did somebody have information about this trap if, if, if the trap was, if this area had never been entered before? What if they got it right from like a, an actual alien or something? I mean, they could still, some of them could still be alive, even to this day. They are very, very, very long lived and have very long memories. As quickly as possible, we made our way back and out into the daylight. Once again, the Brotherhood was triumphant, and it was time to return home. Ah, uh, so this Brotherhood between Brayden, Gilliborn, and Raynell was an adventuring company who had done a few adventures like this. That's awesome. At the tavern that night, we decided to make a pact. Time will put us to let us have a game of co-op. Seriously. Just a co-op game. Not online MMO. Just, just oblivion. But where I can have like three friends get into a party with me and do this. Blah, blah, blah. Oh well. At the tavern that night, we decided to make a pact. We would dash the artifact in a cave not far from Bruma until we researched it further. And I know that the magnitude could be very dangerous if mishandled. We certainly didn't want to sell it without understanding its true value. Brain agreed to contract the local cooper to construct a chest with three locks. Each of us would hold a key to one of the locks, so none would have access to the artifact without the others being present for the rest of the evening. We drank merrily and sang many a song of adventures past and adventures to come. I'm taking this. This must have been a preliminary. No, Black Horse Carriers. Journalists must have been there right right near when it happened, so they heard the screams and came to it. Alright, oh What uh, can I do for you today? Stuff. Looks like Reno knew Brayden actually. Gelliborn. Gelliborn? That's odd that you should <laughs> mention that name. Reno told me that he was the last vampire he hunted. Yeah, that's right. Somewhere in Skingrad, I believe. He said he tracked Gelborn down and killed him. Hmm. That's apparently why the guards trust him so readily. They had gotten word from Skingrad City Watch about Rainil and his so-called accomplishment. Clearly that was a lie, according to this journal. No. They could have been turned vampires, but... I mean, this is unlikely. It's and nothing oh, else I can tell you about him. He comes and goes and doesn't talk to people much. Hmm. Sounds like a man with something to hide. Alright. Thanks. Just look for me if you need anything else. Yeah. Alright. So, any new revelations in your mm, investigation? Hmm. Probably. You need to tell me. I'm sure Erlene is very upset. She'll be safe, though. Rainil has confirmed with us that she isn't infected. She would have been. Her accusations that Rainil is lying is not surprising. At this point, she's so upset that she'll say anything to deny what really happened. I, I suppose if I found out a loved one was something as horrid as a vampire, I'd find any excuse not to believe it either. Would you? We can tell me about How do you know about that? Ah, oh, too many people don't know how to keep quiet about official matters. Very well. Mm, 
The Skingrad City Watch anyone. informed us that Gelleborn was killed by Raynal not too long ago. Gelleborn was a vampire as well, obviously. Hmm. I disagree. What do you mean you disagree? Exactly. That sounds... That's a bold statement. What proof do you have that Gelleborn was not a vampire? I have his I, journal. I don't know what to say. In which they it all makes other. perfect sense now. Why else would Raynal have removed this journal from the crime scene in Skingrad? I heard no mention of a key either. It must have been removed by Raynal from Brayden's body before we arrived. Uh -huh. To think that two innocent men were killed, and that I'm responsible for one of their deaths, I... Maybe I'm speechless. But I will rouse the guard and begin right? a search for him in the city. Meet no. me at Olev's Tap no, and Tack in one hour. Oh, come on. Let's... Wait. I must go and tell the guard. Please, meet me at Olav's in one hour. No. Oh. Right. Hello. Do you have any more questions? I'm afraid I know little more. No. Dang it. I know I sound desperate, but I know I'm right. I know you're right as well. Don't worry. We'll deal with this. It was an actual vampire. But it's not. I killed more than enough to know exactly what they look like. Alright, so we've got an hour to meet him. Well, before we need to meet him. Alright, he's going to help the guards. So Alright. So we've got an hour now. We've got an hour for that, and um, ten... Eight hours for... Uh... How are you? his name. Polinaro, I think it was. Go ahead, How are please. Nare? Who are you? Any good rumors lately? Someone once told me that there is a sword at Bart Goldcorn that points the way to great riches. It sounds improbable. If it were true, I am sure someone would have found it by now. Wait, farewell. Goldcorn? I've never heard of that part. Oh no, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't. Why am I playing with Bart Goldcorn? Okay. I may know what swords they're talking about. Something that I found in when I used to play the same place. Like Any time now. Hello there. Poor Anora. Her seems her boyfriend you're under has stolen some gold from her and left her penny. How do you do? Oh, oh, right. He's in I jail and she's destitute. What's the news from the other side? My goodness. Nothing I'd like to hope. Why is Rumor full of so many troubles, though? Seriously. Oh, goodness. Oh. Somebody wanted to try it. Well, it's a nice day out. Oh, it's like it's just a problem. Alright. I guess we'll go find our Nora as well. Talk to her. And then go and meet the guard at Olaf. 